Happening later today in Prince George's County, another chance for parents to weigh in on the state of the schools. The new superintendent continues his town hall meetings tonight. Marcella Roberts is live in Prince George's County this morning. And Marcella, so far, safety has been on the top of everybody's mind when it comes to the parents and their students. Yeah, Wisdom, good morning. Yes, yeah, safety in schools, definitely a, a top concern from parents. Specifically, what are the schools doing to keep their students safe? Now, there have been two of these town halls so far over the last several weeks or so. The third happening tonight here at Charles Flowers High School. Uh, and this all comes at a time where Prince George's County is dealing with a, a number of safety incidents involving students. Uh, Millard House, he took over as a new superintendent earlier this year and has tried to tackle some of those issues and some of those concerns from parents that we have heard so far at these town halls, uh, including last month where 16 year old Jada Madrona Moore, she was shot and killed uh, outside Duval High School trying to intervene and, and break up a fight. Days after that, a student at Fairmount High School was caught with a loaded fully automatic pistol. Because of that and other recent incidents and metal detectors, they have now been installed in phases in schools, uh, both middle and high schools, and students are also required to carry clear backpacks. All of the high schools, they are expected uh, in the county to have metal detectors by the end of this semester. But from some parents that we heard from who spoke at some of these recent town halls, they say that is just not enough and more needs to be done. Take a listen. Everybody have kids here that they love and they care about it. So their safety is something that is the first. Absolutely. So, you know, they have to they have to check the door. That's why it's getting inside the school because the outside doors can be pulled from the outside. So that's my main concern. Then I have, then I notice it and they need to check the camera. Some of the cameras are not working. Now, other parents echo those concerns when it comes to safety and also the condition of some of the schools, not just because what well, you heard there that some of the cameras are not working, uh, some of the doors are not working as well, but just because they say it's not uh, pleasant for students to learn in some of the conditions that the schools are in and that they uh, need some attention. Other concerns uh, deal with more mental health resources for students and also school bus delays and safety on school buses as well. Now, these town halls, they are part of the new superintendent's 90 day action plan into the new school year. Uh, a lot of that feedback and what he is uh, hearing from parents that will be considered as he lays out his long term plan for the future of Prince George's County Schools. Again, that third town hall happening here tonight at Charles Flowers High School starts at six o'clock and a uh, fourth and final town hall that will happen next Wednesday and will be virtual. Reporting live in Prince George's County this morning. Back to you. All right. You, you definitely have to be safe in order to get the best education when it comes to the students and the parents. Uh, Marcella, thank you very much for that report.